Oh, he was hiding in it and got detected. Okay. Uh, yeah, our workers in the Huron territory are grumpy with us because of things. So you lot go in there. Let's jump back to Europe. Get the army fixed up. Twenty-eight. So just under what we have. Okay. Gulliver Travels has been written by Mr. Jonathan Swift. Uh, I actually read that book in uh, secondary school. It was quite nice. I liked it. Um, certainly, I think, better uh, or more accessible than a lot of pieces of literature uh, from that era. But, uh, yeah, quite fun. Ooh, hello. Got a proper army there, haven't you? Yes, sir. Well, this could be interesting. Um, hmm. I was not expecting there to be any sufficient number of forces there. I might withdraw. Uh, certainly I'm regretting at the moment being so uh, direct in my movement in that direction. But uh, nothing I can do about it now, because I'm out of move points. So we'll see. If they attack us, we'll just have to do our absolute damnedest to hold our own. Um, what we got going on here? Polish gentleman. That's a uh, oh, that's not our territory. That's a uh, Wittenberg. Okay. Um, nothing really to do to speak of, I guess. So uh, we'll keep going here. Oh, merciful heavens, no. Here. Counteroffer. What just peace? Well then go away. If you want peace, ask for peace properly, not stupid moronic peace. Where I give you things that you don't deserve. As I remember properly, Prussia, I'm the only one that's won a battle uh, of one battle that we've properly fought together. I was the winner of that. You Stupid people. Enemy fleet ahoy! All right. Uh, so this is going to get in. We are going to be engaged in combat here. Uh, so yeah, let's get this started. It looks like it's not overly matched against us, uh, which is a good thing. And maybe if we can smack them back, uh, things won't be too dreadful. Um, I don't mind a retreat, but fight is here, and I'll have the defensive advantage uh, against native tribesmen. I think I, I'm hoping I can pull this off. If not, well, I will eat my own hat, I suppose. All right, uh, I'll just do this setup really quick here. Um, doesn't look like there's too much panache needed to do this. Uh, so let's see, the whole army should be coming directly from the north. So I'm going to deploy the cannon. Uh, of course, all oh, that's uphill. Ugh. Let's see, this here looks to be more or less the highest spot I can find. This is a nice, good clearing, too. So I'm going to deploy the cannon on this ridge. Control group them. I'll put the Hessian on cannon guard duty. Uh, I'm going to take these two units, group them. Deploy to the cannon's left in the forest. Come on. There we go. Take these three, group two, and deploy them to the cannon's left along the plane here. 
and of course the general uh, back here in the rear. All right. Hopefully this goes well and I don't regret having done it. I hope they move up first and don't wait for the reinforcements to come in. Are they just going to move on me straight away? They are. That's odd. Strategically, it's the dumbest thing, because there's no way I can cut off their reinforcements, so why wouldn't you just wait for it? Oh, wow, I'm already, sh already in range? Cool. Lances, gunners... Chief's bodyguard, that's what I really want to hit. This. Kill that. Yes! Good shot. Killed about a third of them already. Brilliant. I don't like what you're doing. I'm gonna deploy you funny. Swing you back just a tiny, tiny bit. Nice, good hit. Give us another a couple of those. Very good. I think... No, it doesn't really look like I'm hitting any of the rear stuff. Well, that would be nice. Alright, I'm keeping an eye on that horse unit there. And the routing. I think the uh, intimidation of approaching the army has got to them. Uh, which, there's something certainly to be said for that. And... Looks like we're putting a bit of a hurt on them. God knows why they're moving their cannon up. And their cannon troops up. Okay, fire on those guys now. What are you doing over there? Sean. Oh, the artillery group. Okay. That one's quite in grape shot range yet. Don't fire just yet. I'm going to slow this down a sec. I want to see what they're bringing up. More horse. And some infantry that won't get to us for ages. Certainly not in time to support whatever the hell the computers decided is a good idea. Alright. Uh, we're going to switch to grape shot and fire that way. I wasn't watching for them. Uh, box. Put you over here. Moral support. Oops. Okay. So you're not in range just yet. You are charging the box formation. Well done. Truly the best of all possible ideas. And we've gotten the captain. 
general, perhaps. And fire at will. Stand up and shoot! Keep fighting them, lads. Quick step. And is anyone up here in range of the guns? No. All those horse made it down already. That's really bizarre. Great shot on them as much as possible, please. Uh, oh, yes, thank you. No, no one ever told you to unbox. At least I don't. At least the ways I don't think I did. shot here. Let's load faster, you dimwits. Yeah! Well done, this guy. <laughs> These 60 men. I'm going to refrain from saying the word champions in order to describe them. Although I hope my opinion about them is well known. See, I'm cheating by not saying, calling them champions directly. I won't and sign them to an early death. Keep going, lads. Cease fire now. Stop shelling. Okay, slow. We're going to swing the hinge backwards like this. Running. There's no fire there. And those lot that are off. Excellent. This flank has really seen better days, especially this unit. Oh, good God! They, <laughs> this unit more or less single-handedly fought the <laughs> fought the entire army that was sent against it. But hey, it seemed to work. to dry. Quick move. Yes, 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 run. You're costing me a valuable shooting at the enemy time. Granted, it was my own fault that I sent you out there, but still, I blame you. God knows why you've gone and attacked me. Kick it back up at normal speed. Well done, lads! Little pot shouts at them as they run away, taking out two of the bodyguard. Let's 
let's tighten up this line. Put them on a small group over here on the flank. Okay, the general is safely in position. Fire away, lads. You buggers. Go back, run, run back into a line. Uh, one great shot there. Slow. And let's pull the flank here around. Most excellent. And they're in a bad way already. Uh, we're gonna switch to full shot, aim that way. Pull you guys over here to encourage. Running and normal speed. Canister right there. Right flip in there. this way behind the cannon and bring you up and cycle you in for the uh, units that are currently engaged in rather a bloody struggle. Wow! <laughs> Just melting these units. Confidence there. It's bayonets in there. Yeah, in your own time, lads. It's not like we're fighting a conflict here or anything. back. Quick. Damn. Routing. Ah! Cycled too soon. But yeah, in your own time, I suppose. Alright. You over here. General back behind. Oh, our cannon have really been hit hard. I know. Ow. Mm, I hate it when it does that. They just turned and shelled the other cannon line. Because uh, the units got too far to the flank. 
I don't know, it bothers me that it does that. I mean, I suppose it forces you to pay attention to all of your troops, but still, it's bothersome, nonetheless. everyone all right I want you back to solid shot fire off that way who's left I'm gonna continue this and see who I can run down Let's see if I can just take out some units with my uh, general here quick time though please I can here while they're fleeing. Really pleased that I won that though. I was a little bit apprehensive that I would win it just because of the sheer amount of numbers that I was facing. And I wonder if they had actually massed up before if I would have been able to repel uh, the overall advance and charge of the uh, Native American forces. Um, and my inclination was that possibly not. There had been a good chance that I could have uh, lost that fight if, as I said, they had initially masked up. And I was curious as to why they didn't uh, do that initially. Because uh, that would have been the more strategic thing to do. And nothing really I could have done would have been able to stop them. Um, for whatever reason, that wasn't the situation. And it uh, worked out for us in the end, uh, thankfully. So hopefully this uh, this army now should have a fairly easy time of taking Moose Factory back uh, without the um, major Native American garrison there uh, to defend it. So let's see how close are you to the magic line. I'm not going to chase after you. I just want to see how fast this game will be over or this match will be over. Come on, come on, Native Americans, run faster. moving quite slow. They are running uphill. Go, go, go. Okay. That would have been, that is a genuinely close victory. I agree with that uh, classification game. For once, you and I agree on the uh, outcome of the fight. Alright, uh, only lost 247 and took out uh, nearly 900. So very much uh, worthwhile there. 